Hello everybody. Back in the old days, Hermanus was a fishing hamlet. That's what they did in Hermanus. It was hardly a, a tourist center because uh, tourism was not on people's agenda in those days. It was a small town, uh, not even town, small village with people who were very down to earth. Most, I would imagine, made their living from the sea. Jesus would have loved Hermanus. No, not would have. Jesus loves Hermanus. I think that's why he constantly bestows his blessing on this place. But Jesus would have enjoyed the interaction with the fishermen of this town. Um, he certainly enjoyed the company of fishermen when he was on earth. In fact, the first four disciples that Jesus called to follow him were all fishermen. And uh, at the end, after the resurrection, they, they went back to their trade, at least temporarily, of being fishermen. Follow me, said Jesus to, to these men. A rugged men, there must have been something very appealing, something down to earth, no frills. I don't know any fisherman who has frills, just good, solid men and women, I might add who enjoy the sea, the fresh air, and the, the open air way of, of living. And Jesus loved fishermen, and fishermen followed Jesus. Follow me, he says, and I will help you to fish people. Now, people are what the Lord, or whom the Lord loves, people. Sometimes we we get so involved in all our programs and we forget maybe that at the end of the day it is about people and introducing people to the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. In my younger days I was a great fan of the, the American Scottish preacher. He was a Scot who spent a lot of his life in America, Peter Marshall. He preached very good sermons and there was a book of his sermons once published called Mr. Jones, Meet the Master. And, and it was really an invitation of the ordinary people, the Mr. Jones and the Mr. Smiths and the Mr. Grays and the Mr. Murrays and the Mrs. Mrs. Uh, whoever. I won't name anybody lest I embarrass you. But just come and meet Jesus. And Jesus uses the metaphor of, of fishing, like you put your, your line into the sea and you work carefully as to what, what is the bait going to be and how it's going to draw whatever fish are towards your line. And, and Jesus wants us to be in a way like that. People who introduce others to Jesus. Is there an attractiveness about your faith? Is there a, a, a beauty about the way you go about your life? Are you somebody who, who attracts people to Jesus? May that be a thought for you to reflect upon today. Follow me, says Jesus, not just to Peter and to Andrew, but he says it to you and to me, follow me, follow me, and I will make you fishers of people. God be with you.